Also, another update on the Samantha Murphy case. This afternoon, a 22-year-old man appeared in the Ballarat Magistrates Court charged with the death of Samantha Murphy. And then something that you rarely see here in Australia, the judge has ordered a national suppression order on the identity of this man. The man will reappear in court on the 8th of August this year because here in Australia things never move that fast when it comes to legal proceedings. But here's the kicker. If you're not from Australia, you probably don't have an appreciation of the insane obsession that many Australians have with AFL. AFL is our footy here. It's our national footy. There are teams in every state. People become so, so very obsessed about it. Not all of us. AFL players are treated like heroes and celebrities by many people within Australia. Personally, I couldn't name any AFL players, but that's just me. So why am I telling you this? The 22-year-old man that's been charged with this offence is the son of a former AFL football player. I can't help wondering, is this judge suppressing his name to protect whoever this famous AFL player is? Honestly, my personal opinion as someone who really doesn't give a rat's ass about AFL is that it shouldn't matter. What this man has done is horrendous. He has attacked and killed someone's mother, someone's wife. And yes, I do feel sorry for his family. I feel sorry for his parents. But were he not the son of an AFL player, would the court be so eager to protect him and hide his identity? Sure, had his name come out, then it would have been linked to his famous father regardless. And obviously it's already been linked. There are already headlines that say that he's the son of a former AFL player. I don't know if it actually names the former AFL player because it's newspapers like the Herald Sun and the Australian, which you basically need to pay for a subscription to be able to actually see the article. So I don't know if he's been named in those articles prior to the judge making their order. But either way, maybe it's very un-Australian of me, but I don't see AFL players as heroes. And if that is the reason for the judge choosing to suppress this guy's name, I find that unacceptable. Families of victims don't get this sort of protection. So why should the families of perpetrators be given protection? Why should the perpetrator be given anonymity?